nice to meet you, Dave. I love this outfit. Um, <laughs> it's beautiful. So this is an intense yet very beautiful film. What was it like to bring Leonard to life on screen? It was uh, it was challenging. It was challenging. It was intimidating. It was terrifying. Uh, but like all in a good way. You know, all in a good way. But it was it was it was hard for me. It wasn't it really wasn't an easy role to play. What was it like being directed by M? It was very surreal. Um, it was very difficult. And he's, um, you know, he's a very loving, caring, supportive man. But he is a very demanding director. And he asks a lot of you, and he, he requires a lot of you, and he challenges you. Uh, but that's why I signed up, and this is why I wanted to work with him. This is why I accepted this role. I knew it was going to be tough. Uh, but it was. It was really tough. He, like I said, he asks a lot for you. He really constantly uh, questions your emotions. He shoots, you know, with, on this film we shot with one camera and it was on film. A lot of very long takes, so it was it, it, absolutely it was the hardest thing I've ever done. Thank you yeah, so thank you. much. So nice to you. Thank you so much. So obviously these characters were originally based on a book. Yes. Tell me about what it was like adapting these characters and making her your own. I mean, I always think it's a particular privilege when you have a book to work with because I love making notes from the original text and Paul Tremblay has a lot of uh, descriptive passages about what the four strangers are experiencing with their supernatural visions and how haunted they are and how unrelenting it's almost like a psychosis and it forces them to do the things that they do on the day that we meet them. So it was really nice to work with that and then add it to Knight's script because Knight works in a very different way. He he likes to storyboard everything and choreograph everything. So it really helped to use the book to kind of fill out Knight's picture emotionally. Absolutely. Do you have a favorite aspect of the film itself? There's so many different themes, the biblical, the horror. What do you think? Yeah, I feel like even though the film is scary and, you know, really everything you would expect from this genre, every single character is there out of some strange love or out of a sense of service or out of, you know, doing something that they believe is for the good of humanity. And I've never seen that juxtaposition before. It's like there is no bad guy as such. Yeah, I mean, depending on what the audience thinks, but I feel like that's how we approached it, is like everybody is convinced of their own belief. And I think that's a really interesting dynamic to play with. Absolutely. Thank you so Thank you. much. You look Thank so beautiful. You. I can't get over it. Such a pleasure Thank to meet you. Congratulations. Thank this you. is amazing. What does it feel like to have a book that you created represented on screen like this? So I have to admit, like right now, my head is just sort of spinning because, you know, this is my first time going to, well, this is my first book that's ever been uh, made into a movie. You know, so first premiere, the whole thing is just a little bit <laughs> overwhelming, but in a good way. So, yeah, just, you know, so excited, nervous, but nervous in a good way, you know. According to you personally, what were the most crucial aspects of your story that you felt that it was important to be represented on screen? Um, I, so many of my books, in this book in particular, I, is rooted by the characters. So to me, I think that's first and foremost, you know, despite there being differences between the book and the movie, that it's clear that the movie really does focus on Andrew and Eric and Wen. So to me, that, that's probably the most important thing, and from what I can tell, because I haven't seen the movie yet. <laughs> Um, uh, that, that, that's definitely the core of the movie, which is great. Now, you create so much contrast within this book with a love story, a biblical story, um, a horror film, yeah. all those different things. How do you create that contrast within your writing? I don't know. It's Part of it is, like, I, I really started with a small idea, like, oh, a home invasion story. I don't like those. <laughs> How would I make one that's different or interesting? Yeah. And I really just sort of spun it out from there. Um, you know, so much of writing is following, like, your subconscious um, I guess the other sort of overriding thing is, you know, I wanted the book to be super scary and intense. I started the book during uh, when President Trump was, was, was being elected. And so from, in my mind, I wanted to write a book that felt like all those anxieties and fears that we felt, you know, on the dawn of Trumplandia. I love it. I love that analogy. And now, final question. One of the things that a lot of people love about your book is just how the ending is a bit ominous. It's up to the viewer. Um, do you think that people are going to be as satisfied with the ending of the movie without giving too much away? <laughs> oh, I, I think... Um, I, I, I've read the screenplay. I haven't seen the movie, so I, I know there's a more definitive answer to the movie, so I'm willing to bet that more people like having sort of that concrete answer. Although, you know, there's a lot of weirdos like me who like the ambiguous ending too, though. I was going to say, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the ambiguous oh, or do you prefer... Oh, yeah, my ending, yeah. <laughs> I do too. I love the book. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks. I appreciate it. So this is obviously an intense and very sinister film. What's the process like in creating a, in creating a soundtrack for such an intense film? Um, I would say, so creating this... Uh, 
film, it's more than just an intense film because to the core it is a love story. So it has a lot of dimension and I think what was most interesting about creating the score is that I was starting kind of with the, with the nightmare and the terror of the whole situation. But then we're going to a biblical story, we're going to a love story, we're going to a character study. So it just unfolded with music that had a lot more layers than just pure terror. How do you go about creating so much contrast in one score? You have to dig deep into your emotions, I guess. Do you have a favorite song or a favorite part of the score that you created? Um, I have a few parts. I, I, I like a lot of parts in the beginning, like the, the breaking in sequence, but I also love the, the one of the finale where the, it's the big love scene at the end. So have you seen it all together yet? Yes. What do you think? What's that feeling like? I think it's great. I'm very, very proud to be a part of this. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love your shoes. <laughs> so pretty. Now, obviously, this is a really scary movie. What was it like to work on it and be on set? Um, it was very fun on set. I had such a good time. They were all so nice, and I feel like they all poured their hearts into this. And it was just such a spectacle. That, I love that word. Now, was there any really good advice that either Knight or anyone on set really gave to you? Um... I think what Knight always said, think thoughts. I mean, at first I really didn't know what that meant, but then I just thought of it, and I can't believe, like, it, I can't believe how it just helped me guide through the act. I mean, it just that phrase just pushed me into one, and it made it way easy, It made my life way easier. <laughs> I love it. Now, did you see the whole movie yet? Yeah, it was it was awesome. So when you work on a scary movie, does it make seeing it less scary? Yes. Um, a little, because I know what's really going to happen and there's no violent surprises. <laughs> I love it. What was your favorite part of working on this? Oh, I loved it sh a lot, jumping in the lake. I mean, it was it was so fun and we also had races to see who could um, change and um, get to the lake faster. It was so fun, I would always end up at the lake last because of my hair. <laughs> was it cold in the lake? Uh, no, because it was such a hot day and okay. it just made the like temperature so normal and so refreshing. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Good. You look so beautiful. Thank you you have the best curtain bangs I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me a little bit about your version of this character and what it's like to bring her on screen. Um, it was so much fun. It was so stressful. <laughs> um, just because so many of the characters are, um, they have a lot of job, a big job to do. So it's very um, anxiety inducing. And you feel that even as if as an actor you know it's not actually happening physiologically, it feels like it is. So, yeah, it was, it was just kind of a crazy whirlwind, anxious storm. I can imagine. On set, but off set, it was like the most fun ever because um, the cast is great. Yeah. How was Knight as a director? What was that like? Incredible. He, he's just very like personable and also very funny, which I don't know what I was expecting working with him. I, I always wanted to work with him. Um, but I think I, at first, was just like completely uh, like welcomed into his world as he does with everyone that he works with. So just completely like disarmed me. And, um, even though the material is really intense and serious, he is a person who's so generous and funny and like joking all the time. So it, it was a great way to, it was nice to have the two elements while filming. I love it. Now, I heard you mention that you had the opportunity to read the book before filming. Yes. Um, a lot. What's so interesting about this book is there's a lot of moments of ambiguity in yeah. what these people are going through. Yes. What was it like to play with that creativity and that contrast? Well, sometimes it, it's helpful in the, when you're filming a movie to have all the answers, and then other times uh, the opposite is true, too, because it leaves room for a lot of imagination throughout. So there would be moments on set where I might be asking myself, you know, what does this mean exactly, and then kind of like each day have to figure that out for myself. So it kind of made the, the whole process like even more creative than um, movies usually are. If that makes sense, but yeah, the ambiguity of it like just made a lot of room for um